No, you find it everywhere. It's around you. Yeah, there is one. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, there is a toilet for ladies and a toilet for men. When you drive, the whole driving, you can find all the slides are info. It's give you a quick information, so you find it everywhere. So, so the main thing about infographic is about communication, not presenting. What what's the difference between communication and presenting? What's the difference? When you, when you present, you put information, you don't care if people get it, understand it, observe it or not. You just put a message. So here, you can you can see people really think about the idea before putting it. So you need to be able to communicate the idea to them. You need to think more about it. Okay? This presentation that may not get the idea that you don't understand it. You just put it. You have, you, you have to make sure that they get it. Okay? If you look at the infographic in front of you, you want to be an infographic, okay? What you need to know about? Think about it. What there are skill tools? What you, what you, what the skills? We need data. This is you will get information. But as an infographic, you do I meant this icons, icons, the color. What else? Okay, this is the icon, the information that we are going to talk about. Clear? Yeah, because it's about communication. Also, you need a tool to implement. Okay? So, to be an infographer, you need to experience the idea and the icon. The idea you can just draft it and be perfect. And you will get it by doing it. Once you are doing more icons, more ideas, you will learn. And you look to the advertisement, you will learn as well. You need the icon, I'm going to give you some. Anyone of, of you is a designer, so you can design an icon for yourself? Huh? Let me let what application you use. Yes, okay, what else? Adobe? Okay. Anyone here like anyone like her? Can I draw an icon? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next to here. Okay. This session is designed for the people who are not doing, who cannot do it. Okay? Okay? Fine? So, I'm going to give you some in, the, in, the, in this sheet. In this, you will find under the icon some website that can give you a vector. And I'm going to talk about a vector. What's the difference between the vector and the normal image? Can you please, what is your name? Steve. Steve, can you Steve please tell me what is, uh, what is the difference between, do you know the difference between vector and normal picture? Yeah, the normal picture, you scale it up. So, yeah. so for when you download a picture from the website, what is the extension? Can anyone tell me? JPEG. JPEG. When you download any normal picture from the website, you want to use it, it should be, it will be as a, the extension should be JPEG, JPEG, PNG, and it is different. But for the vector, to use a vector, you have to use EPS, AI, Today, if you want to implement this infographic, either you have to be a professional like the 16th, or you have to take the other two options. So we have here three options. Professional, like use Illustrator application in design, Photoshop, this is for a professional one. You have to buy the application, you have to buy like 5,000 to get trained on the application, and then you will start from scratch. Do you have time for that? No. The second option, take away. The take away. <laughs> take away. Take away is an online website. So you can Google, just try the infographic website, you will get all the whole list. Okay? Do you want another? Another option? Okay. The, why I don't like this takeaway? Because sometimes I need to create, I need to be look like a professional. I need to create my own. This is customized, it has a template. I cannot do a lot of that. Okay? The next option for me. The next option will be this package that we are going to be trained on. Okay? In this package, I will download, and you can get it later. I will download the icon from a website. I will use the Inkpad application, which is a vector editor. Okay? That's mean to edit the vector. As Mr. Steve said, 
the vector you can edit, you can color, resize, use part of it without losing the resolution. That's why we are using the vector editor. And I use this one because it's free. So there are some vector editor with money, but they use this one free. This is available only in iPads. In iPads or iPhone, but not in uh, Galaxy. We try to find I tried to find similar in Galaxy, but they couldn't. Maybe later on you can improve. Okay? The technique that I use is that I download the SVG file to the Dropbox. Then from the Dropbox, I import it to the Inkpad and they work with it. Okay? So, to do, let me find. Okay. So this is. Too, right? yeah. yeah. Okay? So, this is the, why we are using the vector editor. This is how is the vector. It's a clean smooth. This is how the JVG, when you maximize it, it will lose the resolution. Okay? Now, let's just start. You have two here. We have two exercises. You need to select from them. Which one you like? We will do one of them. What you want? <laughs> Which one? Voting. This one? Really? Huh? Okay. It's the same idea, just we will do some more work. That's it. Okay, let's analyze. What we need to create this? We need, sorry, <laughs> font. We need text. Okay. We need icons. We actually need two icons, right? Chair, person. Okay? So, and we need to think about it, okay? Fine. So, we need color, font, and chairs. What I'm going to do, first step, I will create. Area like a document, I can select the size. Then I'm going to import one icon. It's then open the ink pad, open the ink pad, make sure that we are on the same page. I have some pad here if you want to use that professional or if you want to use your hand. Huh? Okay. But hand it to me once you finish, okay? Okay, please. Anyone want a, a pen because they have only five? Okay, anyone need a pen? I have extra. You need a pen? Okay. You are on the page, yeah? yeah? Everyone has his own page? Just let's go for A4, thank and create. Done? Ready? You have your own page? Okay. Now, to add, I will keep here for you if you want to see how it looks like. Okay. I'm going 
to important? Now I have it in front of me. Why? Okay. Now, if I try to walk, open the uh, business map. Open the business map. Okay. Everyone, open the business map. What I need from the business map? Yeah. I want. I want only one of those. Maybe I will take this one. Okay. But if I select, can you see? What you can see if I select? Dots. Okay? That means they are all grouped. I want to ungroup them. Just one hand before we start so we get struggle. Okay? Every time you want to do anything, please make sure that you are selecting the select arrow. Once you finish any task, please select the selection arrow, the top one. It's in blue. Okay? So now I want to ungroup. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do lots of grouping and grouping, coloring, lots of stuff. So I'm trying to be slow and clear to move. I want to finalize this by the end of the 45 minutes with the challenge. Okay? <laughs> now, so what I'm going to do to add rule, we have two menus, either edit or arrange. We are going to use the edit and the arrange a lot.
the item. Can you see the item is too big? I want to resize it. So first, what I will do, I will make sure that I'm selecting the icon. Then, you see there is a one resize button here. Is it clear? So what I'm doing with one finger, I will resize it. With one finger, once you select, no. With one finger, resize. This is different. Right. Once you finish resizing, please press the selection. Press the selection. So don't play with it. Can you do the 29 chair? 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 Can you do the 29 chair?
we do that copying of the 29 chair? Just don't think about the color.
the corner is sharp. So here I will select one. Okay, I will do the coloring. Where I select it, I select it here. The color. Like this, can you look here please? Here you have I of your tools. You have A for font, this for transparency, this for the border, this icon for the border, this for the filling, this for the prepaid color, pre pre color, the pre prepared color. So I'm I'm selecting only the color and then doing the the color that I want, RGB, any color, and playing with this with these tools. RGB. You just drag get the number 255. Okay? You can play with this. If you don't know the color, what you will do? You don't know the, the color code. You will go to the website. Let's go to the website and use it. Check that. I want this blue. I want that blue. So what I will do? 2156178. Is it easy for you? Are you following? Yes. I'm using the website. I won't use this one. So RGB is 256178. So I will go to my application. And 25. Then, what is it? Six? What is the, what is the number? Six. Six. Then, one seven. I'm, I'm, I cannot see it, but... I almost get the color, yeah? Because I'm color it because I'm looking from the top. You see how is it? That's what I'm trying to do. Here, I'm playing. I'm sliding this. R, G, B. I'm sliding this to get the color. You know from where I got the color? Are you okay? So what they will do is just move it up. I 
or the other option is to be dropped. Okay, fine. You are with me? Can you do the other background quickly? Two minutes? Two minutes? Do the other background yourself? Yeah. Just tea? Yeah. This one? Once you press in the tea, you can drag, write the text that you want. If you see the drawing here, please look at me because I have to give you lots of information in 45 minutes, but it's important. How do you know the important message?
can see that side. There is one box with an R on top. Can you see that? Sorry. Yeah, the R goes. Okay. From that, you can add it to the photo album. You can duplicate it or print it. You can export it as a PNG picture or export it as a PDF. I will do the PDF. Because, or SVG as well. So later we can update it. Now, can you see my outcome? Can you see? This is my outcome. If I want to maximize it, can you see I'm maximizing it? I'm not losing the resolution. I'm maximizing. Okay? If you want also, you can, let's, let's save it as a PNG and save it and then, PNG and put it in the uh, photo album. Add it to the photo album. Let's see how is it. Now I will go to the, my photo album. Can you find it? It's there. Okay. Once you produce the PDF file, you can also send it by email. So here you have your item. Okay. I want you. I want to talk with you, please. Thank you. Thank you. 